Hello everyone, Scoopfish here, and welcome back to Digimon Links. So I was so excited to bring you all a video a little bit ahead of time because we've all been waiting for this for quite a while. Last night they put out a maintenance announcement and in the announcement it said Coliseum Commencement. And now, this morning when I woke up, I missed it. It happened in the middle of the night. So, yeah, woohoo! Today's video is about Coliseum hitting links, you guys. So yeah, when I woke up this morning, it was maintenance completion announcement that was actually pushed through on the news feed. And not only did they do stuff as far as getting the Coliseum going, but also is something going on with fragments that you acquire through separation of Omega or from Omega? I don't, I don't quite understand. I don't know if it's when you, uh, when you awaken them that you get them i never realized if i did before i'm gonna have to look into that for you guys more but yeah there it wasn't just the coliseum that got pushed they also fixed bugs which is always good but they're actually going to be giving out 10 digi stones as an apology for an extension of the maintenance so i'm not sure if this is the one that happened already because i haven't received them but yeah you might have 10 Digistones coming your way if you didn't already get them, or maybe if you did. Anyway, in celebration of PvP, they have an awesome capture going on right now, and it is Ability Metal Capture. Now this is going on from the 6th to the 11th, and I definitely am going to be doing my best to grind some stones right now. I might have some coming as a Christmas present, but I want to get that. As always, 1 in 10 is guaranteed to have the ability medals, but it's going to be varying as far as legacy skills and leader skills, so it might not necessarily be a Digimon that has a good roll on with the rest of that. That's kind of cool because, and this is why I really want to get some of these Digimon, is because there is ability seeding in the game, and a lot of you probably already know what's going on with that, but that's something that I have not covered yet and haven't had a Digimon I want to possibly waste to do it because there is some chance involved. So this should give me a Digimon that I can use for it. But like I said, ability seeding is something I want to cover in a future video. Now on to the Coliseum stuff. Oh yeah, baby. There's actually, they've got day login bonuses going on for this and this didn't pop earlier. I guess I was a little bit early for it to be going and oh I'm, I'm so excited this is so cool you guys like i'm kind of getting a little bit flustered because i i'm like totally stoked to get into this um i'm not a big pvp -er, and i can't say that i will do a ton of pvp or even be really much of a threat to anyone but i'm definitely willing to try because i love grinding for loot and that's what's going on there is loot involved in this oh and then there's my daily bonus oh so much stuff okay yeah, we, we should know about all this. More information about the Coliseum. Oh, yeah, this wasn't up either earlier, the uh, campaign login bonus thing, the news for it. So that is sweet. Let's go ahead and just cover that right now. So as you guys see, this is going on from the 6th to the 31st, the duration of how many days you got to log in, which is pretty dope. 14 days during the event, you can receive a total of three expansion patches. Nice. Oh, those are finally here too. Yeah, that was something I was going to get into as well because I saw that as rewards, which, yeah. Anyway, getting ahead of myself. Using expansion patches increases the number of chips for your Digimon in case you weren't aware. I know a lot of you guys probably are because I've covered a little bit of that in chip stuff. So, there is the gifts. It gives you a list here. I'm going to slowly scroll through it for you guys. I know this isn't my normal style. I'm just off schedule with everything today, apparently. This isn't the only game that's included in that. Oh my gosh, look at all the loot. Stones, baby. We're going to get stones for stuff again. Yes. I'm excited. This is awesome. All right, go back. Is there anything else that I need to go over here? Coliseum info, probably already... This Oh yeah, I forgot it was doing that. I even took a screenshot of it. <laughs> There's your information on the Coliseum. Yes, yes, we know about the booster pack. Oh my gosh, I've got so much stuff going on right now. Everything. Campaign progress. What the... Oh my gosh, guys. Um, 
Oh, let me catch my breath here for a sec. What is going on? Alright. Okay, so that's a glitch that's going on from what I can tell. Is it'll tell you that you have new missions and you don't because I've gone into there over and over again after doing a few things this morning and I don't have anything new going on. Oh, there's some digi stones. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's the stuff we just got for logging in. Yes! Oh, I'm so happy. I really, really want to get the uh, Digimon with medals here. Some more news that we haven't seen? No. So yeah, there's, there's a few uh, new bugs going on as well. Grab our meat. Now what is going on in the lab here? Okay, we got these guys going. Let's do this real quick. Skip all, just get to it. There we go. Skip all, just get to it. There we go. Alright. Um, I don't know what is going on in here. Campaign in progress. What is that all about? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't know you guys. Ah, uh, I feel I feel a little bit at a disadvantage here. I wasn't prepped for some of these new things. So there's something going on with that. Maybe to do with seating. Oh, that's probably what it is, is seating. Yes. Okay. Sorry. That's another thing I was supposed to cover. Oh, I've been in here before. Well, here we go. We're going to cover seating just a little bit right now. Now, I definitely wanted to cover this in another video, and I'm glad I'm recording it because I will have it to go over when it comes to that as well. But yeah, we're not going to be getting into this yet. Now, that is part of the event, and that's why I have the campaign thing above it. And there's another thing I was going to go over as well. But yes, uh, the ability rate is increased, so you're more likely to get ability medals to transfer from one Digimon to another right now you have that ability rate increase that's that's pretty cool and i guess that i should be covering a little bit of ability seed stuff anyway right now just because of that so i'm gonna have to jump on it as fast as i can the other thing that is going on is food also has an increase on it again so make sure to be taking advantage of that harvest 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 feed 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 all right now for the main events. Go over here to the Coliseum. Now, I'm expecting the same results as earlier. Sure versus, yeah, 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 we know that. Okay, yeah, so it is still not actually open right now. Um, they are, it looks like they're still getting it ready and stuff because if you try to click on any of the battle stuff, that's not going on. Um, mock battle is something that you are able to do with your friends or in a group, it looks like. I'm going to be covering all of this more thoroughly, obviously, but today is the announcement day and I want to get out as much info as I can to you guys right now. Now, there's something here I'm, I'm noticing as well, and I'm going to be looking into this and coming with you guys with a lot more information. I apologize for the stuff I don't know right now, but the Coliseum schedule thing going on here. It looks like there is rounds that you want to get into at certain times and i'm gonna probably have to figure out time zone differences as well at least i've got a head start as that but i'm not sure if that's like official stuff or that's literally only when you can or not um i haven't looked into old links in japan a ton because there's only a couple of guys that were covering it in english at the time so i'm just going to dig and dig so yeah that is that um looks like obviously you're able to rank up through pvp work your way oh yeah prizes that's what i wanted to go over now as you guys can see here by what you place you're able to get a certain amount of prizes and this is what i feel like is going to make me want to actually get into it and grind is because look at all that loot that's awesome and it seems like there's actually a rotation to it as well. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, let's go back. I did not click on ranking earlier. 
This is such a sloppy video, guys. I apologize. <laughs> uh, anyway, it uh, looks like here you're pretty well able to go through ranking. I'm assuming when you're clicking on, like, say, 1 to 1 or 2 to 100, stuff like that, that is going to give you a list of people within that ranking right now. Um, obviously, with things not going on at the moment completely, we're not able to necessarily dive into it, but we're going to be. Don't worry. I've got so much grind to do. I, I love links for the fact that it just has such a rotation of stuff going on all the time and keeps it fresh and just gives you things to grind for. Like, I actually have so many Digimon I wouldn't normally have in other games I don't normally try to acquire because of the fact that I just plain needed them to get some of these quests done and get the loot. So, oh, this is awesome. But that's going to do it for today's video, you guys. I'm going to make sure to get this up as soon as I can and get grinding on the rest of it so I can get you guys another one out ASAP. All right. Hope you all enjoyed. Make sure if you did to like, comment, subscribe. You know that YouTube stuff down below. And I will catch you all on the flip side. Peace.